Wow. I know what to do and I've done it before. 517.8. As you can see, I have gained some weight. Thank you, estrogen. What? What? Uh. I feel like I'm being pranked. These meals are good. Mmm. That tastes homemade. Oh, that's great. Oh my god. Literally tastes like I just made this myself. Jenny Craig food is so good. I cannot get over it. Mmm. I do have a two-year contract with Jenny Craig because that's what I thought I was gonna do. And uh Obviously it's not. I'm a mess. In the pit of my gut, my gut was telling me, in Berlin, this is not the right choice. I looked at Becky and I said, Becky, has your gut ever like truly spoke to you? That my gut actually spoke to me and said, in Berlin, you need to do Jenny Craig. That gut feeling, I'm very grateful my gut spoke to me. But my gut is telling me, my gut, I'm just happy with my gut. I knew it was the wrong choice. Mm. Well, um, I binged. Hey guys, so welcome to day four of me being on Jenny Craig. I'm gonna start this video off by showing you guys day one weight, day two, day three, and day four. So here it is. 517.8. So I am steadily losing weight. I know um, Jenny Craig Let's you know that the first week you will drop the most amount of weight and then pretty soon it just kind of evens it out. I feel like our goal is not telling the truth. You are supposed to lose the most amount of weight on first week. Our goal lost five pounds in four days. That's too little. What do you guys think? We know she binged on day two. But I think she eats meals that are not Jenny Craig style in other days too. And they also make it known that the second week you usually lose a very low amount. Which happens a lot, I notice, like when you're changing your lifestyle, like week one is like, woo, week two is like, Ugh. and then so on and so forth. If you are just like keeping it steady and easy, then your weight drops off pretty good. Okay, so I notice you guys can see the time. I don't hide that from you. My sleeping schedule is really bad. I don't know why people hate on it because I usually only get about four hours of sleep. I know you're supposed to get eight. Your sleeping schedule is messed up because you don't have anything to wake up to in the morning. You also have sleep apnea, so I doubt that you even sleep properly. That's probably why I take a nap. So it's not like I'm sleeping all day because I've slept for 12 hours, if that makes sense. Average night's sleep is actually seven hours. I know probably some of you only get like two hours of sleep. I'm not trying to like downgrade that. So on Jenny Craig, you are supposed to fast for 12 hours. A goal sleeps for four hours and takes a nap for eight hours. Lowell. Because we all know a goal is not actually fasting while being awake. I'm confused. So, first meal, we have a serving of milk. So it's 1% milk. We have a serving of fruit, which I chose an apple. And we have a sunrise scramble. We have spinach, tomato, cheese. Ugh, it looks and smells so good. So I'm curious as to how this one's going to treat me because when I have scrambled eggs, I want to say about 80% of the time, it makes me feel super sick. Like I get nauseous, my head sometimes hurts. I get stomach cramps that are really bad. So it's not every time. So I'm gonna give it a chance. Amberlynn is insane. Why would you keep eating the same food that makes you feel sick? Choose other breakfast foods, my God. You get nausea, headache, and stomach cramps 80% of the time, but still risk eating it. Who does that? Oh, bitch. It tastes homemade. No, this is why we say she is fake loving it. Like how good scrambled eggs can be. Why doesn't she do this when eating McDonald's or Subway, which are the foods she actually likes? That's what I'm shook about. Like, 
all of these Jenny Craig meals literally taste like homemade. Doesn't taste like processed food, prepared food, frozen food. It literally tastes like you just made it. All these praises, but still it was not enough for a gore. Oops, spoiler alert. Okay, so we are on meal two, which is snack one, which I've had before. This is the chocolate fudge brownie an ounce of protein and another protein so i just choose because uh, it's confusing so you get to choose what protein you want to do um what healthy fats you want to do what veggies you want to do she looks so over it it's all over her face and why keep eating the same things that will definitely get old hey guys so it is time for meal three which is lunch so before i share with you guys what i'm having for lunch you see food right here I think it was day one, you guys saw Becky making spaghetti. And you guys were saying things like, oh my god, why is she making so much spaghetti? You know, Amber Lynn's gonna binge on that. Blah, blah, blah. Becky makes enough food for her to have leftovers. So right here, she has pork chops. They're very thin pork chops. They smell delicious and look delicious. As you can tell, for her um, meal, she had two of them. This is leftover. And I know you guys can still sit there and say, well, you're probably still eating it. If I was, then I probably wouldn't have dropped as much weight as I did. You have dropped five pounds, Gaul. Let's not pretend it's more than that, please. Also, you admitted that you have binged and still lost weight, so I don't know about other people, but I personally criticized Becky for cooking spaghetti on your first day on a new diet, knowing that you are easily triggered. So, I just wanted to clarify. So, we are having serving of a fruit, which is half of a banana. We're having a garden salad with Jenny Craig creamy herb dressing, which you guys already saw me try. And we're having lasagna. So... I'm ready to try this because it smells and looks good. Oh yeah. Cheese, spinach. Oh, I love lasagna. It is so good. So let's see if this is up to par. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. It is super like creamy, cheesy. There's also meat in there. Does it taste homemade though? Okay. Fourth meal which is a snack, really simple. The other half of the banana. What I do is, obviously I cut it in half. This huge baggie is ridiculous. So we went and actually bought some small ones. We just got home literally and I'm like so hungry. You ate two hours ago and you were so hungry. I though Jenny Craig portion sizes were huge and most of the time you didn't even feel hungry what happened. I know damn well riding on a scooter at Walmart will not make you hungry. <laughs> so this is how I do it. I keep it in the fridge, now it's nice and cold. So we have a serving of fruit and we have a serving of 1% milk. So this snack is always pretty much the same thing. That's what I'm kind of really enjoying about Jenny Craig. It's like, I'm trying to memorize when I get the salad, when I get the veggies, when I get the fruit, when I need the fat, when I need the extra protein. I thoroughly actually am in love with Jenny Craig. Like I can say that, I know it's only been high fourth day, but I really like it. Again, our goal will never learn. Go to a diet for a month or so, and then brag about how much you love it, and how amazing it is. We have been here, done this. Stop exaggerating and just wait to see if you can actually follow the plan, then tell us how great it is SMH. Okay, so... <laughs> well, um... I binged. This is why I have scheduled an appointment to see a therapist. I finally took the plunge and obviously no matter what eating plan I choose, I will never stick to it unless I heal the mental problems. See here, I will not be hard on her because she claims that she is seeking professional help, which is what we have been asking her to do. If Amberlynn cares about herself even a little bit, she would go to that weight loss counselor and this therapist to finally heal some of those traumas she has. We all know that Amberlynn has a lot of issues. And the desire to lose weight and to get better has to overcome the desire for food. This is what she needs to work on. The sad part is, I think Amberlynn is happy where she is. Of course she gets those moments where she feels guilt and sadness. But overall, I think she is okay with being how she is. She makes good money, she doesn't have responsibilities like children or work. Therefore, there is no motive to lose weight. And it has taken me... Some time, we all know this, for me to realize that. That it's not about, oh, Weight Watchers doesn't work, or oh, counting calories doesn't work. No, it's my brain don't work. My willpower don't work. And I give in too easily. And apparently, food is more important to me than losing weight. 
and that's mentally challenging because deep within my heart i love myself enough to want this so badly but it's like something's stopping me so that's why therapy is just the way to go everything she said is 100 percent true and it is what we've been saying for years another problem is that she has to realize that therapy is not magic and it will not be easy amberlyn has gone to therapy multiple times going to therapy again is a good step but she has to work really hard to get her shit together with the help of the therapist I can easily sit here and tell you guys that I stayed on track and I did great. I could completely squash this video, but that's not what this is about. What this is about is being honest with my audience and letting you guys know I effed up. I mean, you can do that, but we would find out when you do weigh in. Savage comments of the day. Only Amberlyn thinks losing five pounds is noteworthy and commendable, but if she had gained five pounds, it would be water weight. Woman, if you don't stop moaning over this mediocre food, Lord Jesus, it's a microwavable lasagna. Yes, I love them from time to time, but I'm not gonna moan about it being of five-star quality. It's confusing. You get to choose which proteins you want, which healthy fats you want, which veggies. That doesn't sound confusing at all. Normal people. Eh, that one time made me sick. Never ate it again. ALR. Eggs make me so sick I get cramps. I'll take that 50 50th chance. WTF. Wow, I don't binge on Becky's food. Amber one minute later open quote oops, I binged. How many times has she said she just now realized she needs therapy, and how many times has she said I could have easily lied and say I didn't binge as is gaslighting? Amber you are saying these things over and over to make it seem like you've had a change of heart. You haven't though. You think we're gonna swoon because you suddenly had a realization open quote gaslighting equals gaslightlin. This new season of Amberlin Re-Year is extremely boring who else misses the OG characters? Okay, a Dusty, Denesa, Eric and the other Eric. What did you binge on? There should be nothing in your house worth binging on. Another reason Becky should be doing this with you and at minimum not buying binge-worthy foods.